This is a video that I hope will help you understand one of the most important concepts in calculus, the chain rule. Okay, suppose that you have to find the derivative of y, this function. Now you have a problem because none of the previously developed differentiation rules will help in determining the derivative of this function. However, we can find it by using the chain rule. Before we can apply the chain rule, though, we must represent y as a function of another function. That means that we must use what we learn in composition of functions. Remember that if y equals f of u and u equals g of x, and we have a composite function that is given by f of g of x, you should remember that f is a quantity that depends on g, and g in turn depends on x. Then the chain rule is given by the following expression. This expression means that the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u, multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x. The chain rule can be written in an alternate form. This form indicates that the other function f evaluated at the inner function g is differentiated first, and then the result is multiplied by the derivative of the inner function. Let's work the previous example using this alternate approach. Okay, so I'm going to find the derivative of this expression, and I'm going to use the chain rule. The first step will be to identify the outer function f and the inner function g of x. The other function is this one because I am raising this expression, this binomial, to this power. And the inner function is this binomial, 9x squared plus 4. So, I'm going to find the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function. To find the derivative of the outer function, I have to use the powers of x rule which means that I have to write down this exponent here as a coefficient. I'm going to leave the base, g of x, this binomial, and I'm not going to do anything to it. And I have to subtract 1 to 1 half. Then the chain rule tells me that I have to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. The inner function is this binomial, so I'm going to multiply by the derivative of 9x squared plus 4. The derivative of 9x squared is 18x. The last step will be to multiply 1 half to by 18x and subtract 1 to 1 half. So, I'm going to I get the final answer, which is going to be 9x multiplied by this expression, and this is the final answer. Okay? I'm going to work with uh, another example, example number two. I have the sine of sine of x. So I have to use again the chain rule. The first step is going to be to identify the outer and inner function. The outer function is this sine function and the inner function is here inside this parenthesis sine of x. So the derivative of y with respect to x is going to be the derivative of the outer function, the derivative of sine is cosine, 
the inner function is going to remain the same here, sine of x. And the last step will be to uh, multiply this by the derivative of the inner function. The derivative of the inner function sine of x is cosine of x. And this is the final answer. Okay? So I hope this video helps you to understand one of the most important concepts in calculus, the chain rule.